Happy Feast Day. I'm Father Bryce, and today is the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And today I'm talking to you from, uh, from the chapel where I pray every morning, where I come before the Lord and just, well, just pour my heart out to Him. And I, and I gotta tell you, today is one of my favorite solemnities of the, of the year. Today, because we celebrate Jesus' most sacred heart. But what does it mean? Like, are we celebrating a physical organ? Or are we celebrating like an emotion? Or, or what are we doing? The church tells us that in celebrating the solemnity of the sacred heart, in having devotion to the sacred heart, we're doing two things, at, at least two things. We're reverencing Jesus' humanity. Saying, look, Jesus didn't come down to earth and uh, pretend to have a body. Jesus came down to earth for real. He took a human body and a human soul. And that Jesus became really human. The second thing that we're celebrating, that we're asking for from Jesus when we reverence his sacred heart is for his emotions, for his desires, for his compassion. When I was in high school, we got a new pastor at my parish, which was Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. And when Father Jeff came to the parish, it seemed like in every homily, he was saying this little prayer to the Sacred Heart. He said this, Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. That's a, that's a really old prayer. I don't even know where it started, but something struck when he said that and I was in high school. and. I started saying that. And even today, I think pretty much every day, at least once, maybe twice, maybe 20 times or 50 times in a day, especially if it's a hard day. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. Jesus, I get impatient a lot, but you don't. Make my heart like unto thine. Jesus, I get angry a lot, but you don't. Make my heart like unto thine. That person is coming and wants to talk to me. I really don't want to talk to her. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make my heart like unto thine. The, the catechism says that Jesus worked with human hands, taught with a human mind, acted with a human will, and loved with a human heart. He loved so much with that human heart that he loved till the end. He loved to the time where he was hanging on a cross dead and where his, where his side was pierced with the lance and where the blood and water from which the church is born was poured out from his sacred heart through his pierced side. He loved to the end. He loved for real. He loved in a body. He loved as a human being. And Jesus gives you the grace. Jesus gives me the power to love like him. Jesus, meek and humble of heart, make our hearts like unto thine. Amen.